Hey guys! Okay, now wait just a second. Before you drag me, yes, I know that my hands are covered in black grease, and that is because my chain on my bike slipped and I had to fix it by hand without gloves, which is why my hands are covered in black grease. I apologize. There's nothing really I could do about it at the time because there were no sinks nearby. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. It's Maya. Um, it's a wild Maya. I should stop using that joke. Today I'm going to be filming a jewelry collection slash try on slash like how to style jewelry as a high school student. Oh, also, I will be showing you guys my silver and gold jewelry. I do wear both and I will be telling you the pros and cons of both types of jewelry when you purchase them cheaply. So first we're going to talk about necklaces. My necklace collection is huge. Necklaces are like my main preferred type of jewelry, I guess you could say. Um, I really enjoy them. For necklaces, I have three main categories. One is obviously a choker. Um, this is kind of a choker. My second category is mid-length necklaces. This also could be qualified as a mid-length, it depends on if I have anything tighter. And then I have my like pendant necklaces, which go usually all the way down to here. And I know that there are a whole bunch of different classifications for necklaces, but those are just the three that I use and the three that I have most of. My main tip for necklaces is to invest in different types of necklace chains. I think common problem, I guess, when people stack jewelry is that all the chains that they use are the same type of chain and the same size. Hey guys, voiceover Maya here. This first necklace is just a pendant necklace. By the way, I'm going from pendants to chokers so that it kind of makes more sense. But yeah, this one just says love on it. Quite simple. I usually stack it and I don't wear it by itself. E-boy Maya is coming out to play with this lock necklace. Um, it's actually a lock from one of my diaries from like kindergarten and I decided to put it on a necklace because I'm edgy like that. So the lock actually does work, which I think is kind of cool, so maybe I'll like add a key to it or something, not sure. Here is a more minimalistic pendant necklace. It says Queen Elizabeth on it. I have no affiliation with England or the royal family, but I thought it was cute. Also, it used to be gold, but it tarnished to silver, so now it's a silver pendant. Here is a bee pendant necklace. I think it's super cute because the bee has a crown on it, so it's actually a queen bee, which I think is really cute. I also forgot to mention this, but I think all of my necklaces are DIY'd, so don't ask me where I got them from because I made them myself. Oh, that was a voice crack. Here is a moon necklace. I actually really like the detail on this pendant moon. It's kind of unique and I haven't really seen it before. So yeah, this one is also just a really basic pendant necklace. Here is a word necklace that I made myself from a necklace that had a whole bunch of words on it that made zero sense, so I kind of reassembled it into this necklace and the following necklaces that you will soon be able to see. I don't know, I just went on Pinterest and found like word necklaces that were edgy and then just copied them. This one says sorry, not really sure why, not sure what I'm sorry for, but my necklace says sorry. This one says angel, which is literally the necklace that all Instagram baddies wear, so I decided that I wanted one too, even though I am far from one. Now, this one I'm kind of proud of. It says boo, but the twist is that I hung it on a safety pin. And you know the earring hooks that have the little beads on them? Well, I just disassembled them, took the beads, and then put them in between the letters of boo to kind of space them out a bit, and I think it actually looks really cute. Here are a few of my choker necklaces. This one just has a very fake plastic pearl strung on a simple chain. It's very minimalistic. I will often just wear it by itself because it's kind of elegant and not as much of a statement as some of my other necklaces. Here is another choker. It's made out of these heart spacers that I actually kind of really like because it's chunky and kind of a statement. Oh, also, by the way, I'm not actually clasping any of these necklaces because that just doesn't make sense and is not time efficient at all. So yeah, that's kind of why a lot of these necklaces look wonky on my neck because I didn't actually clasp them. This one is a very simple blue and silver chain necklace. It matches really well with jeans, which is the main reason why the beads are blue. And yeah, I just really like it. This necklace is made out of more jewelry findings. It's actually the kind of, I'm not sure what you call it. I'll insert a picture of it on the screen, but it's that kind of clasp. And I just took all the hoops and then made them into a choker. This is a very basic 
safety pin choker. Everyone and their mother owns it, and that is why I, too, own a safety pin choker. Now, let's talk about this choker, because this is one hell of a statement. Um, it's very chunky. I basically disassembled two bracelets to make up the chain links, and then I added safety pins because safety pins, like, there is no other explanation. Moving on to my gold jewelry. This one is just a simple pendant kind of frame. I'm not sure what you call that, but yeah, I just hung it on a chunky chain and called it a day. I actually coated the pendant in clear nail polish because it prevents it from tarnishing and just preserves it for longer. On the same type of chain, I actually just hung a spacer. Um, it's not supposed to be a pendant, but I thought it looked cute, so yeah, that's just another pendant necklace. By the way, if you are interested, I did make a DIY wire jewelry tutorial where I teach you how to make this chain, so if you want, check it out. I'll put it in the upper right hand corner, I guess. Is that what YouTubers do these days? This is a more minimalistic necklace. I just hung a butterfly charm on a chain and called it a day. I think it looks quite cute and is great for stacking. This one is virtually identical to the last one, except this time I hung a smaller, bluer butterfly charm on the chain. This is a longer linked chain that I made myself. However, as you can probably tell, it isn't very well formed and the links do fall off quite easily, so would not recommend. Here is a store-bought linked chain that is way more professional and much easier to use than the one I made. And yeah, this is the only one that I technically didn't DIY because I just bought the chain and use it. Using the same chain that I used in the first two necklaces, I just hung a safety pin on it and called it a choker. And I think this is kind of edgy, kind of cool, but still not as bulky as my silver necklaces. This choker is one of my all-time favorite chokers in existence. Um, I also teach you guys how to use- oops. Oops, I think I just kicked the camera. Well anyways, I teach you guys how to make this in my DIY tutorial again, so make sure to check that out. But yeah, it's just really basic, sparkly, and cute. This is another choker. I saw it all over Instagram because a lot of people use the same charm and make their own necklaces, so I decided to give a shot at it, and I think it turned out really well. This necklace is just a simple star spacer hung on a chain. I think it's really cute, very elegant and minimalistic, and can be worn by itself. This one uses basically the same concept and just strings a very fake, very plastic pearl on a gold chain. I also have an identical necklace in silver, but I don't know, I think it's just a really classic necklace. For this last one, you can't really see it very well on the try-on clips, but I'll insert like just regular clips of the necklace, but it's basically just five blue beads hung on an arc, and I think it's really cute. Alrighty, now we're going to try and stack some necklaces. So the first one I'm stacking is just this love necklace pendant thing. Um, again, I usually wouldn't wear it by itself, but I would stack it. Next, I'm putting on a mid-length necklace, which is my honey word necklace. I just think they look really good together with pendant necklaces. And if this isn't enough, I am going to put on a chunky heart choker. I think it's just a really cool addition, looks kind of edgy, and would pair especially well with an e-boy sort of outfit. There's also nothing wrong with layering two pendant necklaces together, even though the chains might be the same length. In this example, they aren't but I think having two pendants lying right next to each other kind of looks cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, you can also do that. Now I'm just adding this pearl necklace. Just for a bit more detail, this stack is slightly classier than if I added a really chunky choker. Alrighty, and now I'm removing my two mid-length necklaces and just leaving the pendant and then pairing that with my chunky silver choker. I don't know, I just really like this stack because it's kind of simple, but the two necklaces are chunky, so it kind of makes up for the missing third necklace. Again, I can always just add the pearl necklace if I need a filler or if there's like too much space in between the two necklaces. Now onto a gold stack. So I'm first putting on my pendant, not sure what you call this, but you can see what I mean, um, this pendant necklace, and then I'm pairing that with my classic star choker. I don't know, I just really think that this is a cute stack and I would probably wear this almost every day. Add a little pop of color and fill in the gaping space in between the two necklaces. I'm just adding this butterfly pendant necklace. I don't know, I just really like this stack. Now I'm leaving on the star choker and putting the long linked necklace, the one that I bought not made, with it. I think that this also looks really cute. 
Then I just added my classic pearl necklace to finish up the stack. I changed my mind, I actually like this stack the best. Um, I don't know, it just looks really sleek and elegant. Now I am removing the star choker and replacing it with the similar but different butterfly choker. I really like this one because it's very shiny and reflective and bounces a lot of light off of itself. And that is it for all the necklaces. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. All right, now for bracelets. I don't really wear bracelets. Um, I'll show you all the ones that I have, but yeah, I mostly just like put on one or two and it kind of accessorizes my necklaces. Here is a chunky silver bracelet. I actually disassembled a Claire's charm bracelet and got a whole bunch of charms and my own bracelet chain. So that's a quick hack. If you have any old Claire's bracelets that are kind of cheap, you can always disassemble them and harvest the parts. Here is another slightly less chunky but similar silver bracelet. It again was harvested from a former charm bracelet. This one is actually kind of interesting. I haven't really seen people wear it, but it's one of those like keychain links and I decided it was long enough for my wrist so I wore it. Okay, so this one I couldn't clasp so forgive the try on fortune, but it is basically this really deep purple crystal silver bracelet. Um, it doesn't really match much, but I think it still is really pretty. Moving on to my gold bracelets, I really only have three. This first one is the simple chain that I showed you guys before in bracelet form. Next, I also have these two braided, not braided, beaded bracelets. <laughs> I cannot speak. And I also show you guys how to make that in my DIY tutorial. <music> Alright, so now we're going to talk about wearing jewelry as a high schooler. I know that high schoolers cannot go out buying 14 karat jewelry. It's way more expensive than most high schoolers can afford, um, including me. No, I take that back. I could afford to buy these expensive pieces of jewelry, but I don't feel like it's necessary, especially as a high school student. Maybe once I get my own job and I make my own money, and I'm slightly more adult, I will get my own more expensive precious metal jewelry, but for now, the jewelry that I have is perfectly fine and should be fine for most high schoolers. So, my first tip is storing your jewelry, especially because most of my jewelry is fashion jewelry. Um, it tarnishes pretty easily, so, so my tip for storing jewelry is to store it in Ziploc bags like this. I just have an airtight Ziploc bag, I put like one or two necklaces in it and then I store it that way. This just prevents a lot of the tarnishing that usually goes on with fashion jewelry and also just preserves it for longer so that you can wear it for longer. I also never wear jewelry at home unless I'm filming or I'm, I don't know, like seeing someone. I never wear jewelry at home. I take it off as soon as I get home from school and it's the last thing I put on before I walk through the door. So yeah, that's just to minimize the wear on the jewelry so that it lasts the longest. And I think that is it for my jewelry collection slash tips on how to wear jewelry as a high schooler. I hope this helps. I know I'm not like a jewelry connoisseur or anything like that. I just think that I put a bit more thought into jewelry than most kids do because most kids are worrying about reasonable stuff like getting into college while I'm sitting here filming a video about jewelry. So to be honest, we know who has their priorities straight, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. Bye.